Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Spiritual Teacher here. Well, what do you think this is? A bunch of brown looking capsules. No real smell at all. Let's take a taste inside and see what that tastes like. No taste whatsoever. Let's put this back together. Yep. Not really. Maybe a slight bitter tinge at the end, but not much flavor at all, really. Well, this is Eyebright, which has been around since 16th, 17th century and being used for all kinds of different things, but mostly for irritated eyes. It does a great job for eyes, and it, especially in eye drops, and you can make your own. And I'll get into that at the end of the, the video here, so you can really you know, learn about making your own eye drops. This is called Eye Bright or Euphrasis officialis. It's a wild plant that uh, is native to Europe and grows also in all temperate zones. Uh, won't grow here because it's tropical, but you can grow it, you know, in the U.S. and uh, in South America and different places, anywhere that has a, a average, you know, temperature. And it's been, like I said, used for hundreds and hundreds of years and really, really no real problems. And I've never heard of anybody having any kind of side effects to it. Uh, it and, and we'll get into that more also. Parts used, the flowers. The flowers on the plant are uh, really beautiful and uh, it ha contains a bunch of tannins and flavonoids and powerful antioxidants and vitamins and it's a really great anti-inflammatory, really. That's what it boils down to is, is really why it works in the first place. And it helps with con conjunctivitis, conjunctivitis. I'm going to say that a few times. <laughs> so conjunctivitis of the, you know, your eyes just being swollen and red. Maybe you've got hay fever. Maybe you've got, you know, something else going on. And you need to really get rid of that inflammation. And inflammation is the start of disease. So we want to get rid of that inflammation right away. And it's been used in eye washes and eye drops and in compresses for the eyes and all kinds of different things. Helps with allergies and the flus and colds and coughs and sinus problems and headaches and the migraines and earaches and any kind of thing that has inflammation going on, sore throats, uh, lung congestion in general, any kind of thing where you have inflammation going on, you can use Eyebright for. And it's been used, a lot of people grow it in their gardens and it really does a great job. Snip off a little, put make some tea and it really does a great job. Also contains a lot of vitamin E and B vitamins and a, vitamin A and vitamin C and a little bit of vitamin D. So it's really good for the body in general. Uh, and that, that's really important. Also contains quercetin, which is a powerful antioxidant and an antihistamine agent also and a astringent for the eyes and helps to get rid of mucus if you have a lot of mucus build up in your eyes and irritation. Also contains rutin, which I've talked about before in other videos, which is a powerful antioxidant too, and a powerful anti-inflammatory at the same time. Been multiple studies showing that actually does help with irritations of the eye, and that's really important. So lots and lots of studies showing that over time, you know, 65 day studies and more showing that, you know, they give them drops and the irritation goes away. The average dose in capsules is 400 milligrams uh, three times a day. So you do want to take basically one of these three times a day. And you can actually make a tea out of it also. Take uh, two to three grams and three times a day. If it has a tincture, you can get one or two milliliters of the liquid extract uh, three times a day. So that's really very, very good. As eye drops, uh, you can make get the eye drops or make it yourself, which I'll get into in a minute. And uh, three times a day, we want to use those also. You could t actually use a little bit more also. I recommend I use it about seven to 10 days. You know, anything after that, 
may cause problems and I'm very particular about eyes so I don't want to use anything if anything persists over seven to you know that long you really need to go to the doctor and check out what's going on you don't want to lose your eye, eyesight that's, that's for sure also it's not for those who are pregnant nursing or have, or small children and also anybody who's taking insulin and that type of thing, this increases insulin production. So that's very interesting also, but I might interfere with your medication. You can make your own eye wash, you know. I think it's really a simple thing to do, but it's gotta be absolutely particularly sterile. And it's really easy to do. Take three cups of distilled water and one teaspoon of plain salt and one teaspoon of eye bright flowers and bring the whole thing together to a boil and let it you know boil for about 20 minutes and then pour the whole thing through a, a lint-free sterile gauze and remove any particles and put that into a sterile bottle in in the fridge and you can keep for over two or three days at the maximum and then use it with a sterile eyedropper which you can get from your pharmacy and also they have eye cups you can buy at your drugstore too you put it over your eye and open your eye with a little bit of the uh, uh, eye mixture we just made up and you can use that on a regular basis too so you can make your own eye drops and if you have irritations from hay fever and all kinds of different things and your eyes are bothering you first of all i think it irritations like this also come from not only external things, but we're in taking things in and we have anywhere from 30 to 50 chemicals in our food, which is not organic. And then that can also cause a huge amount of problems. And we need to eat organic absolutely positively. And go to my website at paulhater.com. That's www.paulhater.com. That's P-A-U-L-H-A-I-D-E-R.com. Up in the right-hand corner, you'll see my diet right beside it, recipes and testimonials. And you click on my diet and follow, scroll down and read it. And it must be followed exactly. And we can get rid of the inflammation in your body absolutely positively. And we can move you towards great health and feeling dynamic and feeling wonderful. You know, I was just uh, conversing with a lady here that had no energy whatsoever. And she's taken everything. <laughs> And I mean everything. I would re so suggest something. Oh, I've tried that. Oh, I've tried that. <laughs> and I also recommend a Qigong for bringing in key energy. But there has to be a real reason for getting up in the morning. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that's really important. If you wake up every day, oh, that's just another day. You know, I'm, <laughs> I happen to know people like that. <laughs> Oh, I got to go to work. Oh, no, I got to take care of the kids. All this, and you're lamenting life in general. You're going to have any energy? I kind of doubt that. <laughs> it's really great to get up in the morning and go, what does God have me in store for me now? <laughs> and it may be tough. Who knows what it's going to be? But I'm going to get through it. I'm going to be happy about it. I'm going to make my life move forward and make some changes in my life. And with every single in impetus that comes my way, I'm willing to take the challenge and turn it in, you know, uh, something terrible into something great. And then seeing the good in all things. You know, sometimes terrible things are out there and we don't see the possibility of it. Maybe in a year, maybe five years, great things will come out of this. And we need to allow ourselves to look at things in a whole different light. If you want to have energy, you wake up in the morning and go, wow, this is a great day. And that's what I do every day. And also including my prayers and talking to God and all these different things. I find that life is exciting every single moment. There's no doubt about it. I don't l lament life at all. But a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> and they wonder why they don't have energy. Well, that's one of the reasons, one of the main causes. You know, there can be 
physical causes. Of course, you know, you could have, you know, a low immune system and maybe you need to take some herbs and different types of things. Maybe you have uh, when metabolism is down, you need to take some different herbs to boost up your metabolism. Maybe you have, you know, SIBO going on and all of this stuff is uh, causing huge problems with your, you know, probiotics in your gut and that changes your mood drastically and brings you down and you don't have energy. That can be one thing also. But you also have to look at, you know, maybe I've sorted through all the past and, I, you know, I've, I've uh, figured out all my traumas I went through as a kid and all that kind of stuff. But maybe I just don't enjoy getting up in the morning. <laughs> and I have to dig through that as to why. And I have to look at the reasons why I'm, you know, making myself, uh, tormenting myself on a regular basis. So I think that's really important because uh, we do that to ourselves. You know, nobody does that from the outside in. We do that from the inside out, allowing ourselves to look at life as something terrible. Oh, Lord, something else is going to happen. <laughs> uh, I think it's really important we wake up and go, thank you, God, for another wonderful day and allow ourselves to change your life from the inside out. And uh, I can't do that for you. No herbs will do that for you. No change in diet will do that for you if you're eating a good diet, you know, in the first place. So it really is an inside job and we can change life and see things totally differently. Plus also we need to forgive, forget, and move on with everything in the past because there is no yesterday, there is no tomorrow, it's only this moment right now and we have to allow ourselves to move and enjoy this life as it is because if you're waiting for something to come that you know you know exuberant and exciting and somebody's going to bring that to you right now you may have a long long wait <laughs> so enjoy what you have you know be excited about life and i think that's 90 percent of healing you know if we have this downer attitude about life a lot of people get ill that is absolutely positively. I've seen that with cancer a lot of times. I've seen that with kidney disease. I've seen that with all kinds of things. And, uh, you know, fear is another thing. If we keep having fear all the time, it will make kidney disease absolutely positively and cancer and all kinds of things. So we're either in fear or excited about life. Which camp are you in? <laughs> so have a wonderful day remember to have some great eye bright which is going to change your life in a great way keep these things in your medicinal cabinet of herbs which you can keep on a regular basis you know uh, i remember going off to some friends that live up in the mountains here and they had a cabinet uh, with a tin full of a wonderful green tea it was actually tinned in this actual 50 sometime and uh, i said well i want to try this it's never been opened so i opened it up put it in some hot water man i was amazed it was still good you know it's always better to have fresh there's no doubt about it but they will keep for a long time so if you keep it in a cool place and dark it will keep for quite a while so have a wonderful day try some eye bright remember to get a hold of me if you'd like and my phone number is 831 869-9119, My email address is drpaulhader at gmail.com. You can see all this down below. Click show more. Also, my Skype address is drpaulhader. And also, uh, you can text me, you can WhatsApp me, uh, well, anyway. But remember, I go to bed by 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so get a hold of me early. If you leave a message on my phone, I'll get back to you the next day. I promise. But only for those people in the United States. If you're outside of the United States, you know, call me uh, during the day or, you know, email me if possible. That's uh, probably the most important and easiest way to do it. And uh, remember... Take some eye bright and remember God every day. And also remember, I love you. <laughs>